All right. So see, this is the first position. And why to play? I think you will get a clue already what it should be based on. Right? Queen to a7. Queen to c5. Queen to c5 and queen to a7. Right? These are the two these ones that you have. So back rank weakness is popping up, right? Uh, Black's back rank weakness is popping up. So if we let us let us just think uh, think what will you do if you go queen to c5, right? Queen to c5, you are luring away the black queen, and uh, let us see what will happen. Yeah, Anirudh also uh, suggested a move, which also is queen a7. So let us see, uh, queen c5 if we do, uh, what is it that black can uh, do? Black can pick up, let us say black can start with oh, killing the rook. No, it will not help. Oh, okay, okay. Queen to c5, uh, if you do white queen. So if queen c5, then rook... Uh... Wait, what? Never mind, never mind. Wait, no, that doesn't work for you. Yeah, queen c5, wait, wait, wait. I think it equalizes, it doesn't win for white because if, let us say, white plays queen c5, black queen captures the white... Uh, hmm. Capture, captures the white queen? No, not yet. Huh? Yes, sir, because then... Then no, if it, no, if it, yeah, yeah, yes, it will so capture. We have to capture. Yeah, because, no, no, it black queen will capture the white queen and it has access to the f8 square. So it will not be a, uh, this one. It will be, finally, it will be an exchange because you will take rook takes d8, rook takes d8, rook takes d8, queen to f8, rook takes f8, king takes f8. Everything got exchanged. Finally, it is still equal position because uh, equal position in the sense, okay, you have got white has got one pawn advantage. No, it is, there is no one pawn advantage. So bishop something. So you see everything. I think uh, black queen c5, uh, white plays queen c5 doesn't work. So doesn't queen a7 work? Yeah, queen a7 should work because that is better. Uh, because then black queen will not have access to the f8 square and then the back, uh, what you call, back rank is really threatened. So queen a7. Now queen a7, then black queen will try to maintain the vigil on the d8 square by going to? Queen a5. Queen a5. A5. Now? Then what? Simply exchanging the rooks there doesn't help. Queen takes b8. Queen takes b8, then the rook takes uh, queen. And in fact, black should. Uh, be queen is equal. Queen into a6. Yeah, <laughs> queen into a6 is the right thing because you are so continue with the theme. You are trying to lure away the black queen and black queen cannot really go back. So queen takes a6, white queen takes a6, black queen goes back to c7. Has to go back to c7. No, no other thing will help. Right? No other thing will help. So black queen goes back to c7. And then queen to a7 again. Yeah. Then queen to a7 again. Now, see, the there are three squares, c7, b6, and a5. Uh, all three of them, now you are covering it with the a6 pawn gone. And black queen does not have any recourse from where to uh, either continue to support the d8 rook or uh, remain unattacked or, or uh, what do you call it? all get access to f8 square from nowhere does it get that because once you go to so we are continuing queen a7 first white queen yes, goes to a7 queen to b8 black mm -hmm. queen sorry b b7 no see okay let us see queen first move queen a7 black place queen to a5 right then what are you saying madura queen takes a6 mm -hmm. right yeah, then after that, black queen to B, uh, no, black queen, the black queen goes back, yeah. Yeah. Then after that, again, queen, uh, white queen to uh, A7. A7. Correct. Why not uh, 
black queen to b8 black queen to b8 how b8 is already rook is there c8 b7 b7 black queen to b7 if you go then white queen takes black queen and if the rook takes back then there is a checkmate on uh, this one you, uh, on d8 so b7 it cannot go sir yeah instead of taking the queen you can take the rook take the rook what i mean after white queen plays a7 what will black queen do imagine now uh, there is no a6 pawn white queen is on a7 imagine that is the position then what will black do black really does not have any defense you want to put this on the board i will try to put it No, I don't think so. Here you require, right? I mean, uh, you don't require the bold, really, right? It is obvious, isn't it? Yo, what is this? This here. Just one second. I'm rearranging the layout. Pinning my video, and then yeah, white has got this, this, and something. What is this? What is my position? Right, there is a black root here. Here, it's here. Not black pawn is not here. It is here. And, uh, black. King here, white here, white has got two rooks, white queen is here, black pawn is on a6. Is this the position? No, there is one more white pawn somewhere. There is one more white pawn and bishop is also here, obviously. So there is white bishop and white pawn. I think this is the position, right? And white to play. Why there is is there something there is no check or something right there is ah white rook is on white sorry white king is not here here okay so what we said queen a seven queen a five queen a six queen a six Queen C seven. Queen A seven. I think I missed a pawn somewhere. Huh? Yeah, there is a black pawn, but it's okay. Before, before there is a pawn, but doesn't really matter. I think. To be precise, what it will be is. Sir, if there is a pawn on B four, white is a one pawn, not two pawns. I'll just correct this just now. Two, three, four, one, three, two. Yeah, I think this is the position. Yeah, sorry. Now, now this is the position. Sorry. Okay, let me to be precise. Let me put it the other way around. This was not. The position and here it was five bishop b r. Where am I? B r k two p p p p p five b and here one p. Four p three one p two p three. Oops. Something is going wrong. One two. Three, four, one, p two, p three. This is what we should have. Um, up. 
क्या यहाँ तीसरे का पोजिशन है लाइफ पॉइंट जीरो या सॉरी सॉरी आई गॉट कैरिड अवे क्वीन ए सेवन क्वीन ए फाइव क्वीन टेक्स ए सिक्स क्वीन सी सेवन या व्हाट वेर यू सेइंग सॉरी क्वीन ए सेवन क्वीन या नाउ क्वीन ए सेवन एंड नाउ मधुरा सो व्हाट वेर यू थिंग यू कैन नॉट डू दिस बिकॉज़ दिस विल टेक इट राइट सो नाउ देयर इज नो नो डिफेंस एनी मोर yeah so this is the solution i think anyone has any other uh, thoughts about this def there is no defense here after this if queen c8 queen c8 yeah queen takes starts with queen takes b8 oh queen b8 okay rook takes b2 hmm the queen is protected rook takes d2 doesn't help because queen takes Oh, okay. No, the, yeah, well, the queen is protected. No, no, queen is not protected. Yeah, your thing is there, but but now oh, rook okay. takes d two, so this is winning. Okay, the bishop will fall. Yeah. No, you are rook up. Plus, you are going to be bishop up also. Already, you are rook up and bishop. You are winning. to prevent a checkmate you have to give up the rook bishop option so, so okay so this was the thing so fine let us go to the next position 94 this is an interesting position i think we should put it on the we should put it on the board i think okay it is a bit complicated white black has got a pawn uh, structure like this 1 2 1 2 3 rook rook bishop knight queen on e5 knight on 9 side knight on e5 knight on e5 queen on e5 knight 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 black has got these pawns here and then these these no these 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 something like no 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 the oops this 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 and this queen is here black queen is here with the bishop here there is a knight somewhere i don't know where it is it is is it here yeah f6 huh knight is on f6 huh? F six, and there is one more rook, right? Somewhere here, huh? On D eight. Yeah, D eight. Bishop to D eight, and then uh, White has got something like this, and then uh, what was that? Yeah, one, two, one, two. So the White knight come here, and here is a yes. bishop. Queen here. Is there anything else? No, there is one more rook on F. F one. Yes. And white king, of course. So this is the position, right? Two rooks and a queen. Two rooks and a queen. Bishop knight. Two knights. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So this is the position and white to play. What is there on the chat? Let me see. Yep. What are the focal points, or where you think attack will come? Try to try to checkmate. I mean, the if the knight is removed from there. Yeah, so the black knight is doing a very good defensive duty. Otherwise, it would be game over already. But in general, you notice that black has got no forces near the king, apart from the knight. Yeah. Right? Everything else is like on the queen side. But the knight is doing black knight on f six is doing a very good job. So 
anything clicks srushti nanda anj maybe the queen should try to give a check on the the uh, uh, check diagonally like the a to to maybe along like and along, yeah. along yeah but right now i mean there are there are lot of black has got like, been, black has got the pawn which can come up and it is supported plus thing it is not easy right matlab giving a check on that we you remove the knight defense somehow yeah but how do you remove the knight that's the maybe we could remove the right pawn and then the queen could go to c4 to check so na just sacrifice the pawn na but but what will black if you just place this then it is blocked right we need the f pawn to move so maybe we can sack on f6 yeah but unfortunately there is no way to open the line on f line right yeah i mean otherwise you could have sacked yeah you would be happy to sack the rook for the knight on f6 only thing is that there is no way how about rook to f7 attacking the knight rook to f7 na huh? attacking the knight <laughs> Because then he can remove the knight's defense, and then it will be easy for him. Yeah, I mean it looks. Uh... Now maybe black can play rook to f8. Yeah, rook to f8 is what I was thinking. But you will take off the knight, and then rook will go to f6, and then you will go queen to h7, and then queen to h7 check. King will have to go to f8. King will have to go f8. Queen to h8, and then you will pick up the rook on a8. If h6, no. Only even then, queen to g7 works right, and then the rook can check on the e file. And sorry, sorry, if h6. Then, after the king goes to um, uh, e7, then we can play queen takes g7 check, and then even the uh, rook. No, I think I think I think this is a slightly thing because you have to take off that. Yeah. Knight on g5, you have to take off because otherwise. Okay, f7 does what? Look, f7 seven. I think the because black tries to do anything like this, right? Like this, then you will be happily take off this. Yeah, yeah. And then, I'm sorry. Uh, then this and this is over. Game over. This is game over because do the and you will pick up this whole thing, right? I mean. Look eight. Rookie, uh, or, or 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 as uh, you were saying, you could even do this and pick up this rook also. Yeah. Right. So this is also. Yeah. But but all of this is like speculation. Black. black there is, rook f seven creates a threat, but they can defend. Yeah. Rook f seven. Then h six is the main mistake. Okay. Yeah. Because if your knight g5 is a very key attacking piece, if that goes right, then so this is a bit difficult because I also kept on thinking about it and I could not really find it myself. Okay, so the solution I think I will give. I think because we have spent enough time now, is knight to h7. Knight, knight takes. Yeah, knight takes. So let us come on. So knight takes h7. Then simple queen, queen g6. g6. And that wins. Then wins immediately. There yeah. is absolutely no way for the because see though this knight covers this square, but queen cannot come here because this pawn is there. Otherwise, it would have been nice to come there and defend, but. Uh, And this square is also not not accessible, so and there is no other way to this one. So so what happens if the knight does not capture? If the knight does not capture it, uh, then also now next move is queen is going to g six anyway. Sir, our bishop to h six. Bishop to h eight. Yeah, bishop to h eight. Then we will start with this problem. Because now, if you take it, then uh, this F seventh rank is completely open. Then you will this one here, right? I mean, what I mean is this. So you cannot really now king to F8. 
king to f8 come on now this is not going to help now right rookie one 96 rookie one everything is a winning i think rookie one and then queen at 7 yeah yep rookie one queen h7 is also oh. there plus plus already your piece up right i mean you even if you exchange off i think you will be uh, piece up so this is not really an option so right in fact uh, yeah i think so it is correct Ninety six, right? The rook goes, but then. Hmm. No, no. Ninety six, na. No, this is. I think what he said is give because your rook is not really under threat, right? Ninety six and just... rook falls. Yeah, rook f eight. Ninety six. No, wait. No, then queen h seven. Here and queen h seven wins, right? This is enough to win. Yeah, this is enough. To win. So it is not. So yeah, I think I think that that was it actually. Knight to h7 here is the the thing because you always think of uh, rook to g7. You try to make it work; it does not work and all. But knight to h7 somehow uh, I just did not think of knight to h7. But then you think of it, then it comes becomes very obvious because then g6 is accessible, right? And the rook on f7 is like is. Is given easy pass. It is like a attacker who is not marked in soccer, right? Football. So it has reached seventh rank and without unchallenged. So it's very dangerous. Okay, fine. Uh, I would like to maybe I should add this to study, right? From where I can add it to study? No, not from here. Ah, I can add it to study. I think I should create a study. L five. Start. Okay. All right. Sir, public. Yeah, I think right now I made it, but uh, maybe I should make it. It is public right now, right? Okay. Ninety-four, right? Okay. So this is number ninety-four. Fine. Then let us go to the next one. Uh, let's go to the next one. Ninety-five. This should pop up. Is a standard attack. Bishop into h seven. Yep. Bishop h seven. Greek gift sacrifice. Because you see that the knight is able to come to g five after that, and queen is able to come to whatever h three. right so bishop takes h7 uh, so king takes h7 knight to g5 now if king goes back to g8 then uh, queen h3 simply wins because you will go down to h7 and give a checkmate and there is no way black can do anything except giving up his queen so if he comes up to g6 then see bishop h7 king h7 knight g5 king to g6 then Queen to h3. Queen to h3. Correct. What is the idea? What's the threat? Sorry, sir. Can you repeat? Bishop takes. It's a checkmate, h7. right? Yeah. Bishop takes h7. King takes h7. Knight to g5. Check. King comes to g6. Queen goes to h3. Idea is queen h7 checkmate. Okay. Idea is queen h7 checkmate. You can give up the rook. You will have to give up the rook. Uh, even then, it is difficult to prevent. Uh, maybe yeah, the black knight can kill on e5. Okay, black knight can kill on e5, and does that help? Does that help? No, queen h3. No, I think uh, it is still not. It still mate is forced, I think. Yeah, 
yeah okay so that is that i think so this is a greek gift sacrifice remember it happens many many times yes and it's a great thing to do okay uh, number 96 I'll put this on the board. Yeah, G five, F five, and H four. Okay, pawns on B two C three. Rook, rook. Okay, let me try to put it a position on the board. Board editor. Clear board. Black pawns on F five, H five. This one white pawns on. Another, I think it is here. White rook is here, and somewhere else, I forget. The white knight here. White king is here. The pawns, like what here and here? No. No. What is that? No. B two and C three. Okay. Black pawn and e five and white pawn. Yeah, this is the position, right? Yeah. <coughs> so white, who is to play? Black to play, I think, right? It is black to play. Yeah, black to ninety six. So let's make it black to play. Analyze. And I will put it. Add it to study. L five positions for analysis. Chapter two. Which ninety six? Okay. So. What is apparent? Black to play has got very strong threats, right? Come on, I think somebody will find it. Rook into d six. Yeah, rook into d six. Rook into d six. What is the idea? White rook has to take. After the rook takes, uh, we have rook to f. Three and then after uh, G into F three, we have Bishop to F one. Yep, this is the checkmate. Mate in three actually it is beautiful. See, it was it should be apparent because the White King is in a pretty bad position. So only thing is that what can you do? Pawn push was not really helping because the H the other pawn would have gone. But if you could, if you could imagine the White. Uh, rook, black rook coming to f three, right? Then I think everything falls into place. Only thing is that this rook was there ready to go to defend. So why? So this was otherwise everything would have been okay. But except that, finally when you give the bishop check, that time this rook would have gone to defend there. So instead now, a black forces by. By diverting the rook, and he white rook cannot really not take it because otherwise he will simply be one piece down, right? So so that is that. So good. I think we have done four uh, things, which is good. Now quickly, let us go. I also wanted to cover this Stappen mode. So let us see Stappen mode. I think I told you earlier uh, there are every day there are eight puzzles in increasing levels of difficulty. So let us start with the first one. First one knight into c4. Yeah, knight into c4. Very very simple, right? And you should not take queen into c4 because otherwise you are also it will be an exchange. But obviously you are you want to go a piece up. So knight c4, correct? So level one puzzle solved. Now let us go to level two.
Bishop takes e6 and then you take the queen. Bishop takes e6. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Bishop takes e6. Knight takes e6. If you do this queen, then this rook will come now. And then it will be a checkmate. Check. Right? So it is not bishop to e6. Think. Take the queen. Is that what you are saying right now? Yeah. Take the queen. And then, yep. Then queen to f1. And rook takes f1, then bishop takes the rook. So you end up becoming what? You end up becoming a exchange up. Right? So this is correct. Just go back and see. Bishop takes. Bishop takes queen is correct. So good. So let us go to the third one. Pawn takes rook and then you can't stop queening. Yep, that is the idea. Pawn takes uh, thing and then bishop, sorry, pawn to d7 queens because the rook cannot really come to here. Right? D1 he cannot come because this bishop is guarding it and next next king also cannot do it and the pawn is really queening. So that was number three. Let's go to number four. Come on. Queen H8. Queen H8. Yeah. Queen H8 looks. Then? Uh, rook F8. Yep. Who is that? Who is saying this? Oh, sir, I'm wrong. Okay. Cool. And now? Rook H4. Yeah. Rook H4 is checkmate. Good. Very good. That See that... Uh, Taking, see, the pawns g7 and uh, g6 are really a killer for the white black king, right? They are, they are hemming, I mean, they are not allowing him to any, to uh, neither are they able to defend. So I think queen h8 was the key sacrifice that you had to see. Okay, let's go to number five. What does pop out? See, white's king position is really bad, right? And I see the diagonals around it.
How would you check? Hmm? Knight g5. Yeah, knight g5 is a good good attacking move. And what does it think? So now. Queen to g3 check. Queen no. to g3 pawn is there, no? Pawn on f2 is there. Queen d5. Queen d5. King will come to. Oh, yeah. Uh, king has to. King has to go to e2. Yeah, king has to go to e2. Or the pawn can block as well. Hmm. If queen to d5, then the pawn can block. Pawn can also come up. Yeah, yeah, pawn can also. No, pawn to coming up will lead to checkmate, probably. Probably or no? Uh, if the no, it will not. Not, not, not. Yeah. Not immediately. So, bishop to e4. Why? Okay, now queen to d5. Yep, this meeting, meeting pattern you have to see it. Sir, less than a minute left. Yeah, yeah. So, queen to d5. And if the king had gone, after bishop to e4, if the king had gone to e2, then queen to d3 is also checkmate. So, queen coming here to d3, right? Okay, so why don't you join back uh, within a minute? Uh, let me stop recording. Uh,